All right, and the last equation has to do with capital accumulation. Capital, physical capital is, is crucial in, in a dynamic model because that's the variable that links uh, different periods. Uh, and the accumulation of capital is, is the motive uh, or the reason for growth, okay? Uh, countries grow by accumulating capital. How, how, can this, how, how can this happen? We can increase uh, the stock of capital by investing, right? So we, we consciously give up consumption today, set aside uh, some funds, uh, buy capital, so we undertake investment, and we in this this will, will augment the existing capital stock, which is subject to depreciation. So every period, certain part delta would be would disappear. Either machines uh, becoming rusty and uh, breaking down, or uh, rats eating part of the grains, or uh, or even even you could take it as a proxy of. Uh, I mean, fashionable, obs uh, fashion obsolescent, right? Just a computer uh, becoming out of fashion because the new processor is out in the market. Okay, so this, this is called the, the capital accumulation equation, and you already see the dynamics here because uh, so far we only have static conditions, so the same time subscript. Here, for the first time, we have two neighboring time subscripts, and this equation, in a sense, will be uh, one of the driving forces mechanically in the model, because the, uh, the capital accumulation motive is, is, is a very important in this framework. Um, capital, in a way, is, uh, is, is the, uh, the only way you can store wealth and transfer it across periods, uh, to achieve higher consumption in the future. All right, so... Uh